Yon, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang, <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so yun, good luck guys So yun mga kaibigan ano, ang ating tatalakayin ngayong araw is binomial expansion using the concept of the binomial theorem. Okay? So let us introduce first what is a binomial theorem ano. It states that a plus b raised to n equals the summation of oh sorry. <laughs> ano ba yan? The summation of a uh, combination of n i multiply by a raised to n minus i multiply by b raised to i from i equals to 0 to n so again ulitin ko lang the binomial expansion or the binomial theorem states that a plus b raised to n is equal to the summation of combination n i multiply by a raised to n minus i multiply by b raised to i from i equals 0 to n okay so etong uh, Sa mission na to, ibig sabihin lamang yan, isasum natin lahat ng terms ng ating binomial uh, expansion. Tapos, etong n i na to, yung nasa parenthesis na yan, that is combination n i. Ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Ibig sabihin lang yan mga kaibigan, ano? Yung uh, expression na yan is just equal to n factorial all over i factorial, ano? Multiply by n minus i factorial. So, magbigay tayo na example para mas maintindihan natin kung ano bang ibig sabihin na to. So, halimbawa na lang is 5, 3. That is just equal to 5 factorial all over 3 factorial multiply by 5 minus 3 factorial. Okay, so again, using our calculator, so that will be 5 uh, factorial, as may factorial dito? Hanapin lang natin yung, ayun yun, factorial all over 3 factorial, saan na ba yun? Yan. Multiply by 5 minus 3, that is 2, ano? So, 2 factorial. Yan. That is equal to 10. So, ibig sabihin mga kaibigan, yung expression na combination of 5, 3 is just equal to 10. Okay? So, kung ayaw mo naman gawin to at meron ka namang calc you, you can just use your calculator directly, ano? Big sabihin lang kasi nung 5, 3 na to is uh, 5 combination 3. So, nasa niya sa calcul natin? Ito yan, 5. Tapos, ito, ano? Yung, uh, nakik ay, sorry, hindi nyo pala nakikita. So, 5. Lagay mo lang yung 5, mga kaibigan, ano? 5. Tapos, nakikita nyo ito, yung NCR na yun. NCR, ayun. So, big sabihin, 5, shift, division, tapos 3. And that is equal to 10. So again, using yung calculator natin, makukuha natin agad yung combination 5, 3. Or 5 combination 3. Okay? So ako mga kaibigan, in uh, uh, further discussion, ano, ang gagamitin ko na lang yung calcul ko. Kasi pag inisa-isa natin na ganito, mas, medyo mahaba. Pero kayo, kung wala kayong calcul at na-require kayo ng teacher nyo na kailangan ng solution, you need to do this. Okay? So ako... Calculate na lang gagamitin ko para mas mapabilis yung ating discussion. Okay? So, etong uh, binomial theorem na yan, that is just the term of the binomial expansion. Okay? So, halimbawa, bigay tayo na example mga kaibigan. Ano? Example number 1. X plus Y raised to 6. So, let us expand this using 
the binomial theorem. So it is it is it states that the summation of combination six i, you know, six i x. Kasi a yung x yung b yung a natin is x ano. Tapos yung a natin is six dito minus yung i y raised to i. Okay? From i equals 0 to 6. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng expansion na to, or ng binomial natin na to, is ito yung kanyang uh, equivalent binomial theorem. Okay? So, the summation of combination 6i, kung whereas yung i, mag-start tayo sa 0 up to 6. Tapos, Yung a natin is x, raised to 6 yung a natin, minus i, multiply by y, raised to i. So, paano gagawin natin dyan? Yung first term niya ay magiging, since yung first term is 0, ano? So, magiging combination 6, 0. Tapos, x, raised to 6, minus 0, multiply by y, raised to 0. Okay? Plus, yung second term naman niya is 6, 1. Okay, so from 0 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so combination 6, 1. X raised to 6 minus 1 na. 6 minus 1. Okay, tapos Y raised to 1. The next term plus uh, 6, 2 na. No? 6, 2. X raised to 6 minus 2. Tapos Y raised to 2. Plus, so tuloy-tuloy lang, 6, 3, x, 6 minus 3, y raised to 3. So, next term is 6, 4. So, x raised to 6 minus 4, multiply by y raised to 4. Plus, 6, 5, x raised to 6 minus 5, y raised to 5. Then, yung last term natin, magiging 6, 6. Raise, uh, multiply by x, raised to 6, minus 6. Tapos, y raised to 6. Okay? So, tingin, sana magkasya yung ating ano, ano. So, i-ano na natin, i-simplify uh, na natin, no? or, or evaluate na natin each expression. So, again, sabi ko nga, 6 ay yung calculate na lang gagamitin ko, no? So, 6, combination 0, that is 1. So, 1 lang yung coefficient natin sa first term. 6 minus 0 is 6, ano? So, magiging x raised to 6. Y, minus, eh, y raised to 0 is just 1. So, x raised to 6 yung first term natin. Okay? Then, the next term is 6, 1. So, 6 combination 1 is 6. So, 6 yung coefficient na second term. Plus 6. <clears throat> multiply by x raised to 6 minus 1. That is 5. So, x raised to 5, and then y raised to 1, ano? So, y na lang yun. Plus, yung third term natin is combination 6 to, ano? So, 6, c2, that is 15. So, plus 15. Yung kanyang uh, x is 6 minus 2. So, x raised to 4, then y squared. Okay? Then, plus, 6, 3 naman, no? 6, combination 3, that is 20. So, plus 20... 6 minus 3, that is x cubed. Then, y raised to 3. Yan. Then, ano na, next term natin is 6, 4, ano? So, plus 6 combination 4 is 15. So, plus 15. Yung x nya is x, 6 minus 4, that is 2. Then, y raised to 4. The next term is 6, 5, no? So, plus 6 combination 5, that is 6. So, 6... 6 minus 5, that is 1. So, x na lang yon Then, y raised to 5. Tapos, yung last term natin, mga kaibigan, dito ko na lang aso, gano? Di na kasi eh. Masisira yung sa ano eh. So, plus 6, combination 6 is 1. So, di natin nalagay yon 6 minus 6 is 0. So, this is x raised to 0, that is 1. So, y raised to 6 na lang yung last term natin. And that is our final answer, mga kaibigan. Ano? x plus y raised to 6 equals etong, etong expanded form natin na to. Yan. Yan. Medyo mahaba lang siya, no? 
At sa, buti nga nagkasya dun sa ating board. So again, ito yung expanded form ng x plus y raised to 6. And that's it mga kaibigan. Ano? That is how we expand binomials using the binomial theorem. Okay? So, if you have questions, just ask or mag-comment lang kayo sa ating uh, uh, video, no? Then, we will try to answer your questions mga kaibigan. Okay? So, ayun. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Kita-kita tayo sa susunod na video mga kaibigan. God bless and mabuhay kayo. Thank you.